when it isn't trying to put out fires from the spontaneous combustion in chief, the talk in the news circuit is, when will things get back to normal? Dear viewers, it won't. Society is going to have to change how we interact, at least until a definitive cure is found. I tried the bleach, and it'll be Anything we put our mitts on is a potential risk of infection, so how are we as a society improving our sanitation efforts in the home? Well, there may be one novel solution, and it doesn't involve touch at all. UVC light. If you've ever pranced in the sun without protection, you are painfully aware of ultraviolet light. It's a type of electromagnetic radiation given off by the sun, invisible to the human eye, that is partially or wholly absorbed by our atmosphere depending on the wavelength. Unlike the higher wavelengths of ultraviolet light, UVC is entirely absorbed by our atmosphere. Good thing too, because UVC can cause cornea inflammation, cataracts, permanent blindness, immediate sunburn, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma. Don't worry, UVC light on Earth only comes from man-made sources. The ozone layer that absorbs UVC is rapidly depleting because of greenhouse gases, so... Did I say don't worry? UVC light can deactivate bacteria by destroying the amino acids that allow them to function and reproduce. This prowess has been utilized in medical sterilization and food and water treatment mostly, but as cost cheapens, we've seen a number of home sterilization products appear on the market. There are UV wands, basically germ-killing flashlights. A safer though less versatile option are sanitizing cabinets or cases for things like toothbrushes, TV remotes, computer mice, game controllers, and phones. By far the most disgusting thing in your household. Bacteria love to lie on plastic and glass and we touch our phones all the time, so what could possibly be worse? The effectiveness of a sanitization device varies by the size of the light, the distance from the surface you're sanitizing, the surface you're sanitizing, and how long the subject is exposed. The question on everyone's mind, is the coronavirus within that 99.9 .9 percentile? A long history of using UV light reliably suggests that it should be effective, but we just don't know enough yet. However, one test yielded some positive news. Last April, ScienceDaily.com cited a study. Solid State Lighting and Energy Electronics Center member company Seoul Semiconductor in early April reported a 99.9% .9 sterilization of coronavirus COVID-19 in 30 seconds with their UV LED products. Promising claims. The Seoul Semiconductor's English site has a pop-up proudly announcing their results. But as I understand it, those LEDs have not been incorporated into market products yet. Would what we have now be effective? Microbiologist Alex Barrazo said to the New York Magazine, UV light kills everything. Bacteria, fungi, viruses. It should kill the coronavirus. Note that measured word. Any scientist worth their microscopes will tell you it is dangerous to speak definitively. After all, it isn't the light necessarily that's the problem, it's the products. Contrary to what many of these appliances advertise, their usage may not be as universal or effective. A blog from the Federal Trade Commission in 2015 recounts cases brought up against Angel Sales and Zadro Health Solutions. Angel Sales device, the ShuV, nice pun, claimed it could wipe out over 95% of viruses, bacteria, and fungus in shoes in less than an hour. Apparently it didn't. The FTC charged that the companies were exaggerating the germicidal properties of these products. The company settled, with the FTC proclaiming Angel Sales needed more scientific evidence for the results they advertised. This begs the question, what else on the market is a hoax? Potentially a lot. Speaking with Digital Trends in mid-April, Kim Trotman of NSF International said, for the most part, if UV lights are being used for things that don't have medical claims, the FDA does not get involved. 
I've seen a whole bunch of these UVC containers that they say to put your cell phones in. The FDA is not getting involved in those types of commercial claims. So there's that, but it seems that UV light is also ineffective on certain materials and surfaces. Quoting the New York Magazine again, Berezow couldn't find any information regarding rough surfaces like fabric or hotel bedsheets. I've seen this corroborated on other articles and sites. UV light, at the very least from household devices, has difficulty penetrating porous material or objects with nooks and crannies. What about food? Well, you may not have realized it, but a lot of food that we consume is treated with UVC. According to Food Online, the technology produces no safety hazards to food and beverage products. There are no after or byproduct when food is treated with UVC. That's at the food processing level. What do you do after you've brought your produce home? I've not seen reports that a UV wand could sterilize, say, broccoli. And even if it could, who's gonna eat broccoli anyway? Am I right, fellow 12 year olds? The decision of whether or not to buy a UV wand or case is ultimately going to come up to you. I definitely don't feel comfortable giving a yay or nay on them. The science that I came across suggests positive results for flat surfaces, but the amount of time you have to sit there with your little wand, holding it in one specific spot, risking irrevocable damage to your body is unknown. Recently, I bought a glide cam off someone on eBay. Before I did anything, I wiped every bit with disinfectant wipes. It was long and stressful. Look at this thing. That's a lot of surface for a light to cover for an unknown amount of time. As someone who occasionally drops his camera during shoots, I don't know if I trust myself with a sanitary lightsaber. It is important to remember that perfect sustained sanitization is impossible. The goal is to lower risk of infection. UV light has potential in the home, but it may not be right for your home. It's not the Swiss Army knife we were all hoping for. It is one tool that can protect you against an infective touch. Which isn't the primary way the virus transfers. It's through spittle in the air. Stop going to the beaches. Haven't you heard? The sun is a death star. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any experience with these home UV devices, please share some expertise in the comments. And while you're down there, twiddle one of those thumb buttons if you enjoyed or disliked this video. And be sure to subscribe to Techable for more insight, news, and expertise.